A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. As a developer if you think of a classic report, what comes to your mind is a simple tabular presentation of data. With the evolution of Oracle Apex, this component has also changed significantly and has become one of the most versatile components in Oracle Apex. Classic reports have become template-driven and Oracle Apex provides some out-of-the-box templates that make it hard to believe that there is an Apex Classic report behind this. A Classic report is the formatted result of a SQL query. Developers choose a table on which to build a report, or provide a custom SQL select statement or a PL SQL function returning a SQL select statement. The new classic report templates provide template control over the results of a row from a SQL query and expect specific result columns from the SQL query. Classic report templates are worth exploring. Since Oracle Apex Manual does not seem to address these tools, we have decided to slot in this important topic through this video with a practical example that demonstrates timeline template of classic report. Timeline is a classic report template that is useful for displaying a series of events. It can be used to showcase the history of a given widget, recent updates, or new interactions within an application. Each report template identifies column names using their respective substitution strings such as username, event date, event type, event title, and so on. For example, the timeline template that we are using in this video indicates the names of column aliases to be used in your SQL query to feed the template. This table lists all substitution strings you can use in the timeline template. For this exercise, we will be using two tables, demo users and demo task. This is the demo users table that stores users images. Since images are stored in this table, a separate video is created to showcase image uploading in Oracle Apex. A link of the video is provided in the info card. In this video we are going to create the demo task table. Let's get started to create a classic report using the timeline template. Expand SQL Workshop menu, select SQL Script option. Click the Upload button. Now download the source code from this video description. Open Report Templates folder. Select this classic report data file. Now run this file. As you can see 12 statements processed, with 12 successful, and with 0 errors. Now open your application. Create a new page. Select Classic Report option. Enter number and name for the new page. Set source type to SQL Query. Open Report Templates folder. Open this file. Then copy this first query. Set navigation menu entry under reports. After creating the page, set the following properties. Save and run the page. If you run the report now, you won't see user's images. Proceed to the next step that will help you display images. The display image type displays the column as an image. The user image blob column is the column which stores the images you want to display. Save and run the page. The images should now appear in the classic report. Perform the following steps to further tweak the report. Enter since in the format mask attribute. 
since is a special format mask, which formats the date or timestamp value as text, which indicates how much time has passed since that very timestamp. Under Template Options, set Style to Compact. To display a compact version of timeline with smaller text and fewer column. Save and run the page. This is the compact version. Another alternate method is to use user's initials instead of images. An alternate query is provided in the source code folder. This way you can ignore the demo users table, and use this alternate SQL query that displays users initials instead of images. Click the user avatar column. Change its type from display image to plain text. Now save and run the page. As you can see that now user initials are displaying instead of user images. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.